Okay, everyone. Sorry for the uh, delay today. Uh, that was uh, just, you know, trying to work out some technical difficulties and whatnot. But um, so if we want to just jump in back to what we were doing yesterday, I did make some little updates on, I think I made my notes a little messy from yesterday. So I just want to back up a sec. Uh, so if we look, we have the Roman Empire right here. And if I scroll down, I just want, I like redrew my lines because I kind of made it messy. But, you know, what we're looking at in this map right here, if I kind of zoom in, is that we're looking at the Mediterranean Sea and that especially that we have the peninsula of Italy jutting out into the Mediterranean. And then that we're looking at, if we look at the key in the map in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll notice right there I'm looking at, um, it's the Roman Republic is in green, so it's 201 BC, and then additions by 100 BC. So like, as you can see, it's expanding outward, and remember the timeline's going backwards, right? So let's not forget that. And then what I did is that I just kinda highlighted this part. We had this map in there yesterday, but I, I ended up deleting um, some of the stuff that was like in this region. I, I It was just too much. So, I wrote in here that there are mountain ranges, and which is important for us because it offers the peninsula of Italy, a lot of protection up in uh, this area right here. You'll see like it's protected from the northern borders. And then just like over in, in the um, middle of the country, we have another uh, mountain range in the center. So it's just going to have a varied terrain for us for sure. So I made a, a little bit neater uh, version of this too. I wrote the spread of the Roman Empire over time. And the reason why I did this is because like so again, uh, just to emphasize the time, so I don't know if you want to do the same thing I'm doing, but if you want to maybe take a screenshot of this at some point, but I'm writing, you know, I'm making the timeline, you know, pointing to the right because things are getting more recent. So like if we were to number these, uh, if I had to take like my, my uh, tool here, so like, whoops, um, like the red part is first, this pink part is second, this beigey color is third, and then, um, you know, this is the fourth part in yellow, and then fifth part, and then this is sixth. So you can see they're expanding outward, okay, in like all directions. They're going, expanding outward. You see how that color code is happening? So the expansion of the Roman Empire, or Roman Republic, is, um, uh, you know, moving outward from the Mediterranean Sea, and a lot of it's going to have to do with the geography. So we have access to this amazing... A body of water that's going to just be able to provide like a, a great source of um, trade and uh, other natural resources. So what I asked you to do is like we stopped uh, here yesterday and you were supposed to like answer all these questions. So hopefully you did it and because um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it in today. Okay, so here is an important document right here if you want to just take a peek at this. So what's going on in this one is that we're looking at a timeline of events and just as far as like how the Roman Republic is run. So if we hear it's like a monarchy, then it becomes a republic, and then this is the end of the Roman Republic. But you just kind of see as the time goes on this way, we're looking at different changes that are has happening here. So what I'm inviting everybody to do is that, um, you know, I would like you to read this section for sure. So for uh, today, what we're doing is you're definitely reading this, okay? And then right here, we can do what I remember you guys, uh, what I call the lazy man special. So if you want to use like a highlighter tool, so what you're going to do is you're going to read this text, okay? So read this whole text. And then what you can do is you can highlight the answers where you find the text. So like, where is Rome located? Okay, so what we look at this, like Rome was originally a small town on the banks of the Tiber River and grew in size and strength early on through trade. So uh, the location of the city near the Mediterranean provided merchants with an easily navigable waterway on which to traffic their goods. So like the first thing that we could do is like we could do it um, with highlighting style. So like, you know, you can color code like your answers. So like, um, see like the next one, for example, if you want to do it in like green, and you know the next one's in blue but you could just like highlight your answers in the text wherever you find it okay so that'd be kind of like nice and easy for you so again what you're doing is you're picking different colors and you're highlighting the answer in the text okay so if this is uh number four like say if you find the answer here you'll just highlight that answer in the text okay and then uh so make sure you do that <clears throat> color coded okay and then one more thing that I want you guys to do is to, this part is pretty important over here. So this says like who, this is a, 
a hierarchy triangle that we've seen in many societies and civilizations already. So it's nothing that's very new to us, but what's new is who's on it. So what I want you guys to do is let's make a cutout of this one. All right. And actually, I don't like my cutout there. Let me do this this way. So I'm going to cut this one out for sure. And like, I definitely want to add that to my money words. So underneath um, the map that we put here, I'm going to enter this, uh, this diagram. And I like how it has the uh, title on there, like who has the power in Rome. So I just kind of want to emphasize that. So what I'm going to do is just going to take my highlighter tool, which, oops, this isn't going to highlight on that. So what I'm going to do is take my writing tool and I'm just going to go ahead and circle that. That's very, very important. Actually, I'm going to make a nice circle. There we go. And then I'm going to do my Bob Ross style, which, oops, okay, so whoa, 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 whoa. So what I'm going to do is uh, just kind of emphasize, like, who's got the power in Rome during this time period? So the people that we're looking at are the patricians on top, which is uh, those are wealthy landowners. And then we have the plebeians below them. Okay, so this is like the top. This is the next one down. These are our tiers, right? Plebeians, the next is the lower class in, of uh, Roman uh, citizens. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to make this a little larger. It's actually a little, a little difficult to see. There. And what else we got? Oops. And uh, let's see, so, so this is the majority of the people are in this number two category. All right, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to just take a second here to maybe uh, do this a little differently. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight these a little bit nicer. So for number one, this is the top, top step. Okay, this is number one. And then I'm going to pick another color. Let's do orange. So for number two, these are the plebeians. Okay, and then i uh, do purple. So this is number three, is the freedmen. Okay, and I do four blue right here. These are slaves. Okay, slaves, as we've seen in other civilizations, always at the bottom rung. And this is again called a hierarchy triangle. So I want to put that in there. And uh, let's go back to our document. And so what you're going to do is, according to this information in this doc, in this um, image, in this uh, what do you call, illustration right here, you're going to be able to answer these questions over here. Okay going to answer those questions okay next this is the roman republic's government setup so on the left hand side we have the senate 300 we have magistrates in the center and then last we have tribune uh tribunes on the on the right hand side here so what i want you to do is if you just look through the document right there you'll easily be able to answer the questions right below they directly answer these questions right below for us and uh, once you do that you're going to find finalize in the last part it says Contextualize. Remember we talked about this the other day, which was putting things in context. So what we're going to do is, using the uh, documents from above, what you're going to do is you're going to contextualize ancient Rome by completing the following tasks. What do we need to do? We need to like make sure that we get all these parts done here. So I'm going to number these so you don't get mixed up here. So this is number one, number two, number three, number four. So And I want you to number them down here clearly. So... Describe Rome's location. Identify two historical developments that led to the rise of Rome. Three, describe the social structure of, in ancient Rome. And then four, describe the governmental structure of ancient Rome. Okay. And then for right now, we're not going to do this critical thinking sheet below. Like this part, just no, we are not doing this. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that for another time. I think we have enough work to do for today. So um, enjoy yourselves. Be safe. Uh, I expect this to be in. But I'm going to set the time back to about like 5 o'clock tonight. Um, I actually do want to get this thing graded and kind of in. So I just kind of want to see how this goes. Um, if there's any issues with the YouTube video or something, just please send me an email. Um, I got a great email from someone yesterday just letting me know that, you know, wasn't posted, whatever. So just, you know, it's all work in progress. But I appreciate the understanding. So have an awesome day. Happy Tuesday. Um, you know, if you can get a chance, uh, you know, get outside, step outside for a minute. You know how I always say... Don't zone out to your phones all day. I mean, it's still true. Have some human interaction, but do it via the phone. You know, let's listen to some of these um, advisories out there. Like, Remember, we're not on vacation, guys. Um, but we do need to keep each other's spirits up. Last night I had an awesome uh, meetup with my friends. We did a group uh, FaceTime call. It was awesome. We were just hanging out and having fun. So, Again, here's my uh, update on my money words. I just kind of updated this. I, what I'll do is actually, I, I'll just freeze this for a second. You can always take a screenshot of that if you want to and edit it to your notes. 
And then I did this one. If you want to use my notes as a uh, model, you can go ahead and take a shot of that. Okay, cool. All right, everybody. Uh, check back with you tomorrow.